Hi, I'm George Levy. And I'm Amanda Levy. I believe we're changing the world. One block change at a time. Amanda, how old are you? Five. That's excellent. Because in this video, I am going to be showing you how a blockchain becomes permanent and immutable in such easy terms that a five-year-old can understand. How do you feel about that? Good stuff? Okay, let's do this. So the first thing I want to say is what a blockchain is. A blockchain is a ledger. It's actually a constantly growing ledger that keeps a permanent record of all the transactions that have taken place in a secure, chronological, and immutable way. Let me explain to you how that is different from just a regular ledger. So let's take, for example, a ledger at a bank. So a bank is actually keeping a ledger, and in a centralized ledger, the bank keeps their own version of that ledger. So we have the results for the first quarter, and they go on the ledger. Then you go ahead and you have the results of the second quarter. And those go in the ledger as well. And as these different transactions and operations are happening, they're all reported on this ledger, which is controlled by the bank. They have full control of that ledger. And they have authority to be able to put whatever they want in these ledgers. Different banks have different copies of ledgers. And um, these different ledgers get built under the control of the bank. Now let's assume that the second quarter, the results were not really what was expected, right? And yet, when you're actually trying to file or there was some inconsistency, something in the second quarter just didn't make sense and you really don't want to report that. Well, in a centralized ledger, you could simply just rewrite the results of what happened in the second quarter and that's how the record would stand in a ledger, right? You can do that in a ledger as long as you have full control of what it is, even though the results are no longer what really happened. In other words, you can distort the truth. That's what happens with a ledger that's controlled by a bank or it could be centralized. Any ledger that's actually centralized, we can do that. Now let's compare that to a blockchain. A blockchain, as I mentioned, keeps a permanent record of all the transactions that have taken place in a secure, chronological, and immutable way. And I'll show you exactly how that happens. So under that scenario, the first block of transactions for the quarter would be built and added. Then you have the second quarter of transactions and this is the second block of transactions. And it is cryptographically tied to the first block of transactions. In other words, the information in the second block of transactions is cryptographically tied to the first one. So it's the third block of transactions and you're building a chain of blocks of transactions, each one built on the other one. And as these get built, you're building a blockchain. And cryptography ties all of this together. And if anybody tried to make a change to any of the blocks, Amanda, can you change the transactions in the second quarter, please? The whole thing falls apart. And it's obvious that somebody tampered with the records. And that is what makes a blockchain permanent and immutable. What do you think about that, Amanda? Does that make sense? Yes. That's great. Well, I'm glad you understood that. Um, I hope you understood that, and I really appreciate you watching. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. We are changing the world. One block chain at a time. Bye! I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.